Hey, I'm Ari from Connect My Apps, and today I'll be showing you Canvas, our brand new low-code integration platform. Let's get into it. Here, I've signed into my Canvas account, and I'm currently seeing my dashboard. The dashboard gives you a quick overview of all your integrations, whether you're building for clients or for your own internal use. Now, the first step to setting up a new integration would be to add the applications that we're going to connect. So I'll head over to the Applications tab and click Add New Application. Here you'll find a long list of applications that we currently support. We're continuously adding new applications, and we also have generic connectors, like our generic REST API connector, that will allow you to connect to any standardized REST API. For the purpose of this demo, my goal is to build an integration between Salesforce and VismaNet Financials. So I'm already logged into Salesforce, where I have an opportunity set up, and I want to fetch this and import it as an invoice into VismaNet Financials. So let's get started. First, I add Salesforce as an application. Then I'll add VismaNet Financials. Great. With the apps added, I can head over to the Workflow tab to start building the integration. I click Add New Workflow, and I get a choice. Do I want to set up an integration based on a ready-made template, or do I want to build one from scratch? For the purpose of this demo, I'm going to choose Scratch. I select the apps I want to connect, give it a name and a description, and click Finish. You'll then be presented with the blank canvas where we can start to build the integration. I first want to get the opportunities from Salesforce. So I drag and drop the Get Opportunities block onto the canvas. Next, I want to import the invoices into VismaNet Financials. So I drag and drop the Import Invoices block onto the canvas. But in between these, we're going to need to do some mapping. So I drag and drop the Mapper block and put it in between. That's essentially it. You've built an integration. Now, of course, there's some more configuring to do. So I'm just going to set up the wiring here so that the mapper block knows where to get and send its data. Same for the import invoices block. And also, VismaNet Financials have some mandatory settings. So I'm going to select that we're going to import to account 3000 using that code 3. Now, the only missing part before I can run the integration is the mapping. When I click Map Model, Canvas will sample the data from Salesforce to dynamically construct a mapping table based on the fields available in the API. You'll then be presented with two columns. You can think of this as an Excel spreadsheet. You have a source column and a target column. To map between them, you can simply drag and drop. So I'll take the close date field from Salesforce and put it into the date object in Visma. And I'll do the same for the other fields. All right, I've completed the mapping, but you'll notice a little change to the date fields. This is because Salesforce and VismaNet Financials have different date formats. But the mapper block supports functions. So I've added a function called format visma date, which takes the input from Salesforce and transforms it into a date format that VismaNet Financials will accept. So now I can save the mapping, save the workflow, and run it. The workflow will now fetch the opportunity from Salesforce, remap it using our mapper block, and import it into VismaNet Financials. And there we go. We can actually see the raw data that passed through. Here you'll see the data that came out of Salesforce. And here you'll see it restructured after having passed through our mapper block. And finally, we can check the response coming back from VismaNet Financials. It's giving us an ID of 215. So I suspect that if we go in here and check, we're going to see a new invoice with the number 215. And there it is. We built a workflow. Now we can schedule it to run automatically. Turn on the schedule, set it to run every five minutes, and I can even press run if I want to run it again now. And that's essentially it. Now building using ready-made blocks is fast, but it can be made even faster. If I want to reuse this workflow, I can turn it into a template. I simply click here, click make template, and now I have a ready-made template for the next time I want to set up something similar. So let's say that you want to set up the same workflow again for a different client. Well, to do that, we head over to the Clients tab. Here we'll get a list of all the accounts associated with your organization. I can use this to easily take control over and manage their accounts, and also my coworkers, 
allowing for ease of collaboration during development. So I'll click Manage, and you'll see it says Now Managing Client 1, and it shows me the apps added to the client's account. If I now head over to Workflows, click Add New Workflow from Template, choose the template, Finish. And there it is. I click Deploy, and I turn the schedule on, and the workflow is now live on their account. Well, hold on. Looks like there was a problem with the last run. I see an error status on the workflow. That's because I snuck in a little error when you weren't looking. To show you how easy it is to find and diagnose problems on Canvas. So let's head into the workflow. And we immediately see that there was a problem with the last block. We can check the output. And we see a mysterious error message. So how do we go about debugging this? Well, the beauty of Canvas is that you don't need an external IDE, like Visual Studio Code, to run and debug the code. You can quite simply run the code in your browser using the built-in debugging tools. Here I can step through the code, line by line, till I find the mysterious bug. Oh, and there it is. A mischievous person added a throw to this line. No worries. I can just edit the code directly in the browser, save, and run it again. And there you go. So you have full access to the block code directly in your browser, and you can quickly make edits if you know modern JavaScript. Well, what if you want to edit the workflow template, say to add a new feature, and to have that feature replicate to all deployed workflows? Well, to do that, head to the workbench. Here you'll find a list of all the publicly available workflow templates, the ones made by Connect My Apps, as well as the ones that have been made by you. Let's search for the one we created earlier. Let's click Edit. And here's our workflow template again. Now, any change I make here will also affect the workflows that have been set up using this template, unless they have been customized and broken off from the template. Now, let's say that you wanted to make a change to the template and have that replicate across all deployed instances. For example, maybe you want to change the mapping. If I go in here and I make a change, I can now save it, and there you go. Now the changes are not live yet, it's currently only a draft, but if we commit the changes, the version number will increment and the changes will be live. We can now head over to the workflow we set up earlier, and if we check the mapper, we will see that it's using the value from the template. Now let's say that you have a client that wants something custom, something that deviates from the template. Well, I can easily go into the code and make customizations. You'll notice that the block now has a custom tag indicating that it's been customized and that it's no longer following the block template. But the workflow overall is still following the workflow template. I can also choose to break off from the workflow template completely. Let's say that the client wants to add an FTP upload to the workflow. If I add in an FTP server and I drag in the FTP upload block, I'll get a notification saying that I'll be unbound from the workflow template. If I click OK, the link is now gone to the workflow template. So this is a completely customized workflow. So Canvas has a powerful templating system that allows you to build and standardize both blocks and workflows and to easily manage them across potentially thousands of integrations while still allowing for customizations when needed. Finally, let me show you a very cool feature, auto documentation. If I click this button here, a PDF describing the workflow will be sent to my email address. Pretty cool. What I've shown you so far are just some of the features available in Canvas, so there's plenty more. So if you want to know more, or if you have any questions, please get in touch.